To make your optical illusion art, you're going to start by putting your hand on a piece of paper. Make sure it's not the hand you write with because you'll be using that hand to trace all the way around your hand. I'm using a marker so the lines show up better for you to see, but you should use a pencil for now. Carefully trace around your hand. And you're going to trace your wrist going right off the paper, just like that. Now if I had a pencil, if I was using a pencil instead of a pen, I'd straighten up some of my lines a little bit where they got a little lumpy, but it's okay for our demonstration. So we have our hand. Now we're going to start in the middle of the hand and we're going to make a shape. In my case, I'm going to use a circle. Now you could use a circle, you could use a square, you could use a, tri you could use a triangle. I would recommend you not using something with a lot of sides, like a hexagon or an octagon, because you're going to have to repeat this shape over and over again. So I start with a little one. I'm going to come out a little bit. Make another circle around it. And again. Make sure you connect your line so it's a complete shape. Coming around again. And again. I'm going to draw right through my hand. Across right over those lines. making sure that I connect and make it a complete shape. If you don't connect your lines and you have open lines, when you go back to color this, you're not going to you're not going to have a hard time understanding which shape is which color. Make another circle. We're just going to keep making circles all the way up. I'm going to go right off the edge of the page. With our circles. Again, always connect. If you're going off the edge, you can't connect it, but just continue the curve as if you're making another circle. Okay. We have our drawing. Now when we color this, and you can use any kind of colors you have available at home, I'm using markers today because they're going to show up very well for this demonstration. So when I make my pattern with colors on my hand, I'm going to use warm colors. I'm going to use this orangey color, yellow, and red. And I'll be doing it in a certain order. I'll start with this one. And I'll switch to yellow for the next circle. Start in the middle and work your way out. And I'll go out with red. I'm using warm colors on the hand and cool colors on the background. But you can flip that if you want. Your hand could be the cool colors and your background could be the warm colors. Switch back to this yellow. I'll go back to this orangey color. And at first, all you have to do is just follow the circles and fill them in.
and you're creating a pattern with color. Start with yellow, orange, then yellow, then red, now back to orange, then yellow again. But when I reach this circle, this circle has background and hand in it. You only want to color in the part that's hand in this circle. So we leave out that little bit because that will be background, that will be cool color. Next is red again. Remember to follow your pattern of color. Again, I can't do the whole circle because some of it is background. I'm only coloring the part of the circle that is hand. I'm going to leave whatever part of the circle is background alone. Because in a pair, these fingers are part of the hand, so I need to color all the finger parts that are in this circle have to be colored in. That's all I can do in that circle. Only the hand parts can be colored in. Now we're back to our orangey color again. And this one is tricky because on the next circle we have a bit of the wrist down here. Part of the thumb here. Remember, we're following this circle right now. So everything in this circle needs to be this orangey color. Again, your colors may be very different than mine. But you're going to choose warm colors, red, yellow, orange, for either the hand or the background, and then cool colors, green, blue, and purple, or either the hand or the background. You can't have them both cool or both warm or this will not stand out. So back to yellow again. We have a little bit of wrist here to do. Again, we're on the warm colors. We're only doing the parts in the circle that are hand. There's some over here on this thumb again. And this finger. In this finger, finger, okay. Now we are back to red again. So on this one, I'm doing this just the tip of the thumb in this part of the arm. This part of the finger, everything that's in this circle, and some of the circles going off the page, but everything in this circle that is hand is going to go red. Okay, one more circle to go. Actually, two more circles to go on hand. The next color will be the orangey color again for these fingertips. And then down here. And the only thing they have left of the hand is a tiny little sliver down here that'll be yellow. 
almost not even visible. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is get more cool colors because my backgrounds are going to be cool. Blue, green, purple. I'm going to start in the closest circle with some purple. Now the first few circles don't get any background color because they're all part of the hand. It's not until we get here to this circle is part that then we find that part of the circle is background. So that first one will be purple. On my next circle, I'll switch to green. This circle, I'll switch to green for the background. I'll get all the places in that circle where background is showing through. Follow the circles and you cannot go wrong. Make sure your circles are clear and not too close together so you don't have to make a million rings of color. Tiny little bit there. On the next circle I'll switch to blue. You're probably getting the idea of how to do this by now. I'm just going to keep going. This whole circle, whatever is background, gets blue. If you notice when putting these colors down, the cool colors they just look darker than the warm colors and they are actually a little darker if you look on a color wheel you'll notice that the red yellows and oranges are very much lighter than the green blues and purples let's go back oh, we still have some blue today in between these fingers following this circle we have to make sure we finish it in between these fingers with more blue. Let's go back to purple for our next one. I'm going super fast. You shouldn't try to go as fast as I'm going. Slow down, you'll make better art that way. Be careful. I'm gonna fix my little bump there with this color. Now you can use colored pencils, you can use oil pastels, you can use crayons, whatever you have available to color this but you need to try to use some color on this assignment because color is half the job. It's showing us the illusion using color. Following the circle, filling it all in with purple. Green again. And the hand is really standing out against those cool colors because they're so warm colors are so different.
believe it or not, we're getting very close to the end here. I'm going to go ahead and finish the whole thing on camera. I may do a time elapse and speed things up because we are getting close to the end. Okay, there we have it, our completed artwork. And as you can see, the warm colors really stand out from those cool, darker background colors. If you use cool colors on the hand, it'll do the same thing. The background will be very bright and it'll stand apart. So there's it, there's our optical illusion hand, op art. I hope you have fun drawing it. <laughs>